This is um this is what you see. Like I, I just right before we hopped on registered um like put in my name and email address um to create an account. So this is like our onboarding, what you would see um for onboarding. So um then you kind of pick this stuff. And and some of this is left over from um one of the features that we had early on was this called ask the advisor which we had like a personal financial advisor that you was paired with your account a human um so we've pulled some of that out um however these things also sort of give context to what your goals are kind of what you're working towards and will pre-populate certain parts of the app so absolutely personalized yeah. experience if we could give an extra zoom here to so that everything oh, sure yep there we go yeah it's perfect okay um let's see all right um so this is the point where if you have a bank connector like a teller or a plat or whatever it, you could start connecting accounts um this these kind of things ultimately set onboarding um things which i'll show in a second here um but it helps us sort of give you a checklist of oh you need to go add these accounts oh you need to go add that asset or something like that um let's see something there we go so yeah so that's the onboarding very neat so far yeah um so then so what some of that onboarding does is you know gives you this getting started of like here are the things that you need to do based on what accounts you told us that you have um so at this stage you know you would go through um yeah this this i think triggers teller so that's how that would import stuff now what you can do um is just say like we'll say checking it so um and that'll go ahead and fill in some of this stuff um let me add one more thing and then i'll show you mm -hmm. Yeah, one other thing that what this fills out. Um, uh, can't remember what, what those post codes are. So, so. Okay. Um so so then you know you can add a bunch of that stuff um and then go into this is sort of like a retirement planner that's generated automatically for you based on the assets that you've added and like the typical growth rate of those different types of assets this automatically pulls all the, this kind of stuff and then you can go in and add different life events and um that kind of stuff and just see like okay i'm planning on retiring at this age will i run out of money at a certain point that kind of thing um so a lot of the, there's a ton of stuff that exists when you start adding lots of different accounts. So investment accounts showing return and being able to compare them to the S and P 500 and things like that. So, but that's what we're in the middle of getting functioning now is like the foundations there, but previously we were using plaid to import all that data. So now we have to rebuild how you get all the data in there. Um, and that's sort of what we're in the middle of. Yeah, I think there's an educational element as well with a lot of these things. Sure. People... So yeah, for instance, you can click on pretty much anything and we've, We've got a whole, um, yeah, a thing that using your data plugs in to like kind of tell you what that is, why that matters, how to affect it, um, yeah, that kind of thing. So there's this sort of we call this like the educational sidebar, um, where you can kind of learn more about any given number or chart or anything like that. And then planning, or maybe like some th some goals or maybe's that you said in the beginning. Yeah, um, yeah. So this is some of that stuff where you can say like you could drop in like okay here I want to you know um let's say buy a vacation home and I want to spend a million dollars on it um we'll say So that tells me that's a bad idea 
<laughs> at least at that, based on everything that it, that everything that it knows, right? Like, because uh, there's no income here. I have I haven't imported anything that implies I have income. Exactly. So it's saying based on what you currently have, and then you just all of a sudden spend a million bucks. Like that's not going to work out great for you. Yeah, so, your, your plan is failing. Just don't do but, it. Right. Yeah. You know, and <laughs> try to make that clear. I love it. Um, so uh-huh. yes, that's the kind of like planning for those maybes, and and some of the stuff that we want to build is around um scenario planning but like comparing scenarios so let's try the let's have three different options well what if i retire at this age or what if i start this business or what if i draw down more from retire like there's all sorts of different these scenarios and being able to compare the outcomes of them as well as, you know one of the things that we had sort of started on but never got to make put into production um so my bet, yeah, my bet is that you're using this yourself for you know for your own sure needs uh if, if for you sure I, the demo, yeah. it, it came into my mind like using this actually for maybe the business um yeah i think there's um there is probably an argument to be made um about like future future products like having a maybe for business kind of thing that's um even almost like a replacement for like intuits you know quickbooks that kind of thing. I don't know about necessarily bookkeeping this. It's like, but maybe higher level business stuff. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Um, but, you know, back to those scenarios and, and planning and whatnot. Yeah. For example, you could map out your runway and then see if I hire a new person. That's how the burn sort of like evolves yeah. and that's how everything's going to be affected, uh, projected over time and so on. So that's the thing that came to my mind looking at it. And I'm like, oh, Josh is probably going to be using it for maybe the business as well because sure. it makes sense. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, um, that's that's super interesting. Anything that we have left out, haven't covered so far? Probably not at this stage of the of the product. I mean, you know, again, it's like a lot of what we're working on at the moment. Sort of a week and a half out of making this thing public is uh, getting it sort of back to being fully functional. Um, so it's, I would say, it has it is not back to its um, former glory yet <laughs> but it will be uh, in the next couple of weeks and uh you know certainly i hope we have the opportunity to maybe repeat this later down the line at least here sure. to see how everything has come together as well as get more advice and experience from you um leading the project this yep. was uh, this was excellent really appreciate it i know you're super busy right now uh so thank you for making the time any last remarks I don't think so. I appreciate what, what you guys are doing with like making bounties super easy. Um, you know, I, I, as I started looking at all that stuff early on, it's like you guys are sort of the obvious use case or, or tool to use. And um, yeah, it's been great and nice to not have to think about the infrastructure to like set up our own bounties and all that stuff. So I appreciate um, it. It's a, it's a privilege serving you. Yeah. It really is. So thank you so much.